Hello, this is Dr. Mark Montillo, and this lecture is exploring the article Working with the Elderly, an Existential Humanistic Approach by Sorel Suri. In this article, the author explores the psychotherapeutic themes of presence, spirituality, and meaning when working with the geriatric population. We begin by discussing presence, which Suri defines as the ability to be completely immersed in the client's phenomenological world, giving undivided attention to the client's inner process. This is listening generously and requires the therapist to be mentally and emotionally alive in the relationship. And I think this is important with every client, but can be especially true when working with elderly clients. Elderly clients with dementia are frequently in a cognitive state in which their moment-to-moment -moment experiences do not fit in with the consensus reality of those around them. In these cases, the quality of presence provided by the therapist can help the client build a bridge from their experience to consensus reality. Spirituality is next. Spirituality can often take center stage as we age. From an existential perspective, spirituality can include the meaning of life, the human existence, and the meaning of being. In session with an elderly client, these uh, subjects can manifest as discussions about God, wonder and awe about nature, or questions about the self. For the therapist, these types of discussions can illuminate the client's approaches to working through issues of aging, which the therapist can then augment and support. Finally is meaning. For many elders, meaning is found in the respect they receive from their family, friends, community, and culture. Unfortunately, our culture does not always support a respectful attitude toward our aged. Purposeful aging involves maintaining purpose and meaning in late life. In turn, this can include quality interpersonal relationships and social activities. Also important to meaning, <clears throat> the way in which one chooses to view their life, thoughts about death and dying, and the ability to tell one's story. In closing, the author notes her thoughts about working with elderly clients in the final stages of their life and writes, In working with the elderly, I have on many occasions been forced to view my own mortality and my own feelings of fear, loneliness, anxiety, despair, and joy. I have found that working with my elderly clients has helped me to cultivate my own courage so that I am more willing to tap into my own humanness and come more fully into a relationship with myself as a mortal human being. And in my personal experience, this is one of the incredible gifts our elderly clients give to us. Thank you.